WavePad's layout gives you quick and convenient access to the features you use most often. There are three main areas you can use to find tools and features. They are the menus, the ribbon toolbar, and the command bar. The easiest way to select the entire file is to press Ctrl A or Command A on a Mac. Once selected, the entire file will be highlighted. To select a smaller portion, click at one end of the area and drag to the other end of the selection. Use the Cut, Copy, and Paste buttons to move your selections around within a file or to a new WavePad project window. A common editing technique is trimming. Click the Trim button in the toolbar and select the first option, Auto Trim Silence from the start and end of a file. There are two other options on the Trim button that give you more control over where the trim takes place, based on where you place your cursor, or if you have selected the audio you want to keep. The easiest way to learn how they work is to try them out. To achieve a voiceover, you need to combine two files. Use the Paste Mix feature to put two files together. First, select the Mix Audio or your voice recording by using Ctrl A or Command A to select the entire file and click the copy button in the toolbar to load it onto the clipboard. Next, select the second file the same way using Ctrl or Command A. Now click the Paste Mix button. WavePad then places the mix audio over the selected audio, and when you click play, you can hear that the files have been combined. You can split a file in two at any point you choose using WavePad. To do this, first click at the point you want to split, and then click the split button in the toolbar. WavePad can also automatically detect silences and split the file at those points. Click the Split button and select Split File at Silences. You've just been shown editing basics using NCH Software's WavePad Audio Editor.